Hello everyone, Kiara Yurameshi here, and welcome to episode 3 of the Wind Wake Play Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. And I'm sorry it's taking me so long to add this part, I've had a very busy week of work and other things going on. But at the moment I'm free, so I figured I would just go ahead and get everything done on this part. And as you can see, we've pretty much picked up where we left off in the Forsaken Fortress. And where we left off last time, I had already done the first searchlight, so now we're doing the second one, and here we did it! Oh, there's a whole pot of them, that's right, I forgot about those. Okay, here's this one, and we're going to finish him off with this little stick, fight stick to stick as it were. And goodbye! Okay, finally. Now then, for our troubles against this guy, we got a joy pendant. And it goes in our spoils bag. And the searchlight is now deactivated since we defeated him. So we can just move on to the next area to deactivate the final searchlight here at the Forsaken Fortress. So here we go without any kind of holding back because there's no reason to. We need to go up. I hope I'm going the right way here. Which way do I go? Okay, um, I'll try this way. It kind of looks like it's the right way, so I'm going to head that way. And it kind of looks like the right way, but it also kind of looks like the wrong way, so I'm going to go through this door and see what makes me. And... Kind of looks like we're starting to head the right way, so... Yeah, we're going the right way, I think. And there it is. Yeah, we are going the right way. Oh no! Ass. Stupid computer thing. Anyway. Sorry. Okay, go to this door. I believe this is the right way to go to get up there. To the tower. Alright, so... We're going to jump across. And, oh no, I missed that. Horribly. Okay, let's see here. Up this ladder, again, we have to climb all the way back up. All these things, I hate them so much. They mess up your Z-target. Like when you're trying to focus the camera at the right angle to get back up and stuff. Yeah, they totally mess up your Z-target and you have to freaking redo the camera and everything. And that was my way of doing it, just kind of holding on to the ledger and I have shielded. Because I wasn't let him hurt me, and he's just kind of pushing me along now, I think. We're trying to, and I'm just kind of circling him, trying to get him to leave me alone, and there we go. Okay. Let's move on. I'm not going to worry about these guys too much. They're annoying, but they're not worth all the trouble I'm putting in. So let's move on to the next area. Okay. Yeah, now we're heading up, I believe. Yes, we're heading up to that tower up there. To where we need to rescue our sister. And I think this is the right way now. I, I always get turned around in this place for some reason. It's just, it's just what happens. I don't know why. Every single time I play this, I always get mixed up in Ganon's tower area of the Forsaken Fortress. But right here... We have something else we need to get first, so we're going to go this way. And out here. Okay, so we are heading the right way. We just got to start the long climb up. And up the ladder, up the ladder. And here we are on the final searchlight. Yay! Last guy we're going to fight to disable these. This guy, uh, had, so I had... I believe that this guy was the easiest out of them, believe it or not. At least for me. I don't know why. And yeah, I say that and my heart gets a heart and a half. But anyway, let's pick that up and go fight him. Keep him away from the searchlight. And 
and goodbye. You are done. Hooray! Right, and we'll break that. Can we break that with the... Can we break it with the freaking stick? Let's try it out. Yep. Doesn't have to be a sword you break it with. You can break it with the stick too. Yay! Okay, so rupees and not much else there. And if I apologize if I am somewhat reserved today, I, I've just had a busy day at work and a lot of other stuff keeping me tired. So yeah, I was up late last night. I had to work today, so that kind of wore me out a little bit. But I'm gonna finish this comment, this uh, part of the let's play, because I told you guys I would update it as soon as possible, and so I'm pretty much going right into it. Um, after I finish this part three, I'm probably gonna be going to do my Just Dance stuff, because I, I do that a lot now. That's, that's basically my exercise for the day, when I can't ride my bike and stuff. So yeah. Anyhow, we're here at the area we need to go to, to get the map. So... Here we go, we now have the dungeon map! Hooray, and back across there. And wait, why, why did I do that? Oh, right, 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 Durr. Okay, so we're gonna go through this door, and then we're gonna go start climbing back up the tower to get to where our sister is and rescue her. That was the only little side thing we had to do. We had to go and get a map for this area so that we would not get lost. And if you don't see it on the screen, it's because I never record what's on the gamepad. I just record what's on the TV. Um, if you would like me to include footage from the map or any of the subscreens, let me know and I will try to do a screen and screen thing. The only thing is I'll have to use two different way methods of recording. I'll have to use my computer for the TV and then I'll use my phone for the little for the gamepad. It takes a little more time to edit that way, but oh no, not a rat, not a rat. No, 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 go away. Go away, stupid rat. Oh good, it's gone. All right, let's carefully and quietly sneak around the fortress so we don't want to get caught by that guy. Oh no, rat, go away. I don't want to get caught by you, please. Okay. Let's Sneak around and not get caught here, please. Oh. Okay, guys, and sorry about the quick edit there. I had to do something really quick before starting up this next part. Um, for some reason, my capture device just decided to crap out in the middle of the recording. So what I did was I just cut straight here to the next area of the... Um, Forsaken Fortress, which is the last area, because we're actually going to go see if we can get our sister back from that bird, so let's sneak around this guy and look at caught, silent, and stealthy, because we don't need to get caught again. I caught caught um, earlier, but kind of just cut it out, because there was really no purpose in getting caught. Not much happened, you just get thrown in a prison cell, nothing too special. Um, so yeah, move on, dude. We don't want to see you. Okay. <sighs> Sorry. My computer's making all sorts of noises. Okay. Let's see. Moving, move. We've disabled the searchlight. We ourselves caught by anything and getting thrown in jail. So here we go. Picking it up to our sister. Life. Okay. And here, an interesting little mechanism that in Wind Waker itself is the only one that does it as far as I know. It's sidling, where you're just basically sliding along the wall with your arms flat against it and your feet kind of propped against it. And it's kind of moving yourself along the wall. And if we hadn't disabled that searchlight there, then we wouldn't have been able to make it over here. We would have gotten caught and thrown in prison and we had to make it all the way back up here. So, yeah, it's good we disabled them. And if you can hear the seagulls right above us, this is very close to where Ariel's being held. And glad. 
Oh look, it's our sword! Woohoo! Exciting! Yeah! Uh oh. <laughs> and it woke that dude up. Alright, let's grab our sword, and I'm glad he gives us time to get our sword back. I'm glad these enemies are a lot more honorable than any other enemies you might find around here. Anyhow, goodbye. That was a really easy fight. Too easy, way too easy. And are the spikes still there? Yes. Door's open. Or maybe... Yep, the spikes are still there. And we can pick up that sword if we want to, but I'm not going to because there's no reason to. So we're just going to move on to the next area. And into here to get our sister back. And I believe next we have a cutscene, so I'm going to be quiet for a short little while. Alright, so in that cutscene, pretty much Link just got tossed away by a shadow commanding that bird, and we couldn't really tell who it was, but I know who it is, and I'm not, I'm not going to spoil it, because as with the, every Let's Play, I try my best not to give any spoilers. So, alright, is that the end? Okay, there we go. Oh, yes, shh. Hello, King of Reliance. I know who he is, but I better just start now. That's too much of a spoiler. I love how he looks in this game. He's just so epic looking in 3D. I'm just like, whoa. Anyway, King of Red Lions, do not fear, not your enemy. Yes, I know. Here are you. I've been watching you since you went to the Forsaken Fortress to rescue your sister. I understand how your desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to fearlessly send to anything, but such a bold attempt was foolhardy. I suppose you saw him, the shadow that commands that monstrous bird. His name is Ganon. He who of the gods attempted to cover the land in darkness and was ultimately sealed away by the very power he hopes to command. He is the very same Ganon, emperor of the Dark Realm the ancient legend spoke of. I do not know why the seal of the gods has failed, but by his evil magic. Tell me, Kiaru, do you still wish to save him? Mm -hmm. And will you do anything to save her? Oh yeah, absolutely. Very good. I unlock it till the text kind of blends in with the clouds. As you as we go, we should go. What little strength you will now possess. It's the boy that is locked away in a power that you can wield only after much hardship. Do you understand? Sure. 
In that case, we depart to the great sea. Well, uh, so I'm gonna help myself. Though I am impressive for me to admit, but though I'm gonna try to speed, I possess no sail. And a boat with no sail can sail no seas. I've brought you far to the east of the dark gaze of the Forsaken Fortress. On this end is a town of merchants who deal in various goods. We search hard enough, surely you can... I'm sorry to ask this of you, but without a sail, I will be useless to you. This island of merchants is home to many valuable goods. The information they provide you may come to during your endeavors of fun, but remember, there is no time to play. Come back here immediately after your errands are done. And pretty much this introduces us to... Windfall Island. And those are the killer bees. Those are some old ladies that you'll run into. And you see a lot of villagers and stuff in, on this island. And I believe this is where I will leave off everybody. I hope you all enjoyed this next part of the Let's Play. In the next episode, we will tackle um, getting the sail. As well as setting out on the Great Sea for the first time. So, I hope you guys had fun. And please stay tuned for episode 4. Thank you.